I'm a big fan of wireless headsets because I like having the freedom to move my head and get up and walk around. I don't like tripping over cables. If they ever make a small wireless mouse that weighs under 95 grams, I would want to use that too because even with a mouse bungee, the cable can get in the way. But a keyboard? That's something that doesn't really get moved around often, so it's not really necessary. Still, Logitech have come out with the G613, and it has six extra keys, dedicated media keys, and a palmerist. It's fairly heavy at about 1.5 kilo. Using it on my lap, it seemed okay, but I was definitely aware of the weight. That's one reason you might want a wireless keyboard though. It's easier to use on your lap. Also, it's quite large, measuring about 48 centimeters by 22, and about 3.4 high. On the base, it has stands and rubber feet. The design is matte grey with black. I would have liked it to be all black though. Now, on two batteries, it's meant to last up to 18 months, which is amazing, and also the reason why it doesn't have LEDs. Apparently, if they put LEDs on it, it would have been about 40 hours. I love the idea of not having to change batteries, but it would have been nice to just plug it in like the G703 and recharge it that way. It can be used with Logitech's Lightspeed Wireless, so that it performs as well as a wired keyboard, or you can use it with Bluetooth with your mobile device, which is actually really good because you can connect two devices and just switch between them with wireless and Bluetooth. So that means you can connect it to your PC and tablet or mobile, or even another PC or laptop. It can remember up to 10 Bluetooth devices, but I had some trouble switching between two Android devices. I think it might have a bit of an issue with that. And lastly for mobile, they've included a stand. Where it falls short is it's not supported by PlayStation or Xbox. That's the Bluetooth I mean, it works on wireless. This is unfortunate because I would have liked to use it with both, one with wireless and one with Bluetooth because it makes YouTube and other searches much easier. I don't like typing with a controller, but it doesn't matter too much because most games don't support keyboard on the consoles anyway. It's using Roma G switches, so the usual 25% faster actuation at 45G. Tactile bump at the top, and tested for 70 million keystrokes. Here's a quick typing test so you know the sound of it. It comes with an extension cable, but you could just use it with the wireless adapter. In the software, Logitech has their usual good functionality, and you can make use of the extra keys with keyboard, mouse commands, media, and multi-key, including an editor. You can also add profiles, and I can hold down 10 keys at once. To conclude, it's usual Logitech quality, and it's great to see them continue to push the boundaries. Although personally, I would want RGB and lights on my keyboard rather than no cable on my desk. That said, for a lounge room setup, or if you want to connect it to multiple devices, especially if you don't feel like typing on your phone or tablet to people, then having this will save you a lot of time. I hope we see that functionality more. I think it could be good even on wired keyboards, so it stays connected to your PC, but also has a Bluetooth option, so you can type to people while in game at a press of a button. As for wireless, once consoles allow for keyboards and games as well as menus, this should be a much more attractive option. With friends around, it's great being able to type in searches on YouTube and Netflix, so I think it really suits a lounge or bedroom setup more than a desktop PC, but then this is overkill for that kind of thing. You could probably get a cheaper wireless membrane keyboard. This is more suited to gaming. I guess I recommend it for people who want a fully wireless setup on their desktop and want to remain competitive, and also have a mechanical keyboard still. Really happy with the progress? I'm looking forward to where this technology leads in the future, but as always, it's up to you what you want it for. Hopefully I've provided enough details to help you make your decision. So, special thanks to Logitech for sending it out for a review. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave some links in the description. And as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.